Hello, my name is Jai Gupta. I'm a product marketing manager at MathWorks focused on image processing and computer vision products. Over the past 20 years, I've served as an innovation leader, entrepreneur, and executive. I've recently served as a technical product manager at Amazon's Alexa organization, as founding CEO of AI accelerator startup Sparrow Devices, and as a principal investigator on DARPA's access and VIP programs in scientific simulation and artificial intelligence. I work closely with sales, development, and other teams at MathWorks to build world-class products that serve the needs of our customers. Today, I'll be presenting team-based image labeling with MATLAB for AI applications. Let's get started. Labeling image data for supervised learning is a crucial step in the machine learning operations pipeline. This process becomes particularly challenging as labeling projects scale, as large volumes of data need to be spread across many human annotators. Organizations face challenges in how to manage large labeling projects, enforce data access and privacy policies, and find cost-effective solutions that meet the needs of their workforce. Team-based image labeling in MATLAB, available from R2023B, enables teams to manage complex data labeling projects at scale through a methodical app-driven process. MATLAB's Image Labeler app helps you stay close to your technical computing environment for convenient data entry and makes it easy to distribute labeling tasks with a deployed labeler app for labelers who don't have a MATLAB license, creating a cost-effective solution as your team scales. The integrated review mechanism improves consistency and accuracy within the process. Join me to find out more about team-based image labeling in MATLAB for AI applications. If you're currently labeling your images for AI supervised learning, you've likely found it quite cumbersome when outsourcing labeling projects or splitting them among multiple team members. The new team-based labeling capability in MATLAB Image Labeler app allows you to distribute, review, and manage labeling tasks within a large group. With simple methods to instantiate label classes and annotate regions of interest, convenient panes to monitor labeling task progress, and intuitive buttons for labeling actions, Image Labeler provides a frustration-free user experience that your team members will enjoy. MATLAB's team-based image labeling creates an integrated network of labeling roles and responsibilities. Labelers, as seen at left, are tasked with identifying and labeling regions of interest and submitting labeled images for review. Reviewers, as seen at right, evaluate those ROIs for either acceptance or rejection. Project owners instantiate, manage, and monitor projects with the goal of exporting labels for model training. They interact directly with labelers and reviewers to provide them with the data and information they need to get labeling and review tasks done accurately and efficiently. All roles work with a shared data infrastructure as they complete the labeling process. The labelers, reviewers, and project owner actors just described participate in a systematic step-by-step -step image labeling process. We'll be covering each of these steps in sequence throughout the presentation. In the first step, shown at the top, project owners set up and publish tasks to be carried out by labelers. The label task owners then apply predefined labels to ROIs across a set of designated images and send them out for review. After the project owner assigns review tasks, review task owners analyze labels for accuracy, determining acceptance or rejection, and providing feedback. Label task owners then correct any labeling errors and resend them for review a process which continues in a feedback loop until all images are accepted. The project owner continually monitors the labeling progress and exports the labels as they are completed. Finally, ground truth label objects generated natively in Image Labeler can be converted into an open label.json file to create a portable format for AI model training. The team-based labeling demonstration we'll be discussing today makes use of a synthetically generated PCB defect detection dataset. This dataset is highly relevant to complex, domain-specific technical data that is often found in practice. The dataset contains 5,906 images with six defect classes and is available as part of the MATLAB example, Detect Defects on Printed Circuit Boards Using YOLOX Network, that demonstrates object detection with YOLOX Network. This network is available as part of MATLAB's automated visual inspection library for Computer Vision Toolbox, free to experiment with for all customers of Computer Vision Toolbox. While this dataset is pre-annotated, meaning that it ships with a predefined set of ground truth labels, we will be using the raw images to demonstrate human annotation of domain-specific technical imagery. The dataset's first defect class is missing holes, which correspond to missing solder bumps on the back of the PCB. You can see several examples of missing hole regions of interest annotated in blue. The dataset's second defect class is mouse bites which, while humorously named, 
present a serious problem to PCBs by reducing the surface for electrical signals to travel through on copper line traces. You can see several zoomed-in mouse bite ROIs in the example image shown here. The dataset's third defect class is open circuit, in which the electrical connection between circuit elements on the PCB has been cut off, thereby left open. This can be regarded as a more extreme version of a mouse bite, in which the trace is completely severed, and several examples of open circuit ROIs are annotated in blue. The dataset's fourth defect class is short, which establishes an undesired electrical connection between two or more circuit elements on the PCB. Again, you can see several examples of short ROIs annotated in blue. The dataset's fifth defect class is spur, which dissipate the flow of electrical signals through copper line traces by spuriously increasing their area. You can see several examples of spur ROIs annotated in blue. The dataset's sixth defect class is spurious copper, which is an isolated region of copper in a place not intended by design. Such spurious conductive material can cause electrical failure in nearby connections. And again, you can see several examples of spurious copper ROIs annotated in blue. Now that we understand the data set we'll be working with, let's begin the team-based labeling process. In the first step, the project owner sets up the project and publishes tasks to a set of labelers. To create the project, the project owner can either open image labeler from the app gallery or enter the image labeler command from the command line. Both options will bring up the image labeler start page as shown here. The project owner then selects the new team project option to get started. The project owner then adds team members using the add team members icon within the toolbar at the top of the image labeler app. A dialog box appears to enter the names of designated label task owners. In this example, we have defined three labeler task owners, John, Aria, and Sarah. Instructions to create and manage projects are shown under the Image tab. To import images, the project owner uses the Import icon to bring in a set of images for distribution to the label task owners. The image browser visually displays the set of imported project images. In this case, 120 images from the PCB defect detection data set were chosen, 20 from each of the six classes. After importing images, the project owner creates ROI label definitions of a particular form, such as a rectangle or point, and a particular name. The group field allows the labels to belong to a larger class of objects within a hierarchy. The label description is optional and provides label task owners with reference information about the class. Once the ROI label definitions are complete, the project owner constructs label tasks and distributes associated images. The Add Label Task icon generates a dialog box to enter information. For simplicity, we've assumed three label tasks will be created, over which the 120 PCB defect dataset images we imported will be distributed, or 40 images to each task. After the dialog box completes, the newly created labeling tasks can be viewed using the Tasks pane near the top left of the app. As shown here, the status of the label tasks is initially unpublished. Project owners then publish tasks to the team of labelers using the Publish Tasks icon, specifying the shared data location through offline communication. A notification box will appear indicating that the labeling tasks have been published including a link to MATLAB Help Center documentation, which gives further detail on how to publish label tasks and share project information with task owners. The Tasks pane status field indicates when tasks have been published. As an optional feature, project owners can create compiled apps for labelers who don't have a MATLAB license. When creating a compiled app, the project owner must include any algorithm required for the labeling task in the compilation using the Add Algorithm button. Otherwise, it will not be part of the compiled app. When ready, the project owner clicks on the Compile button, chooses an app name and file location for the executable, and starts the packaging. Running the labeler installer may take some time to complete, perhaps more than an hour, as the executable file size can be 10 gigabytes or more. When finished, labelers can use the labeler runtime client to conduct their labeling tasks. Once the project owner has set up the project and published tasks, label task owners label images and send them for review. 
will now go into more detail regarding this next step in the process. A label task owner can label from both a compiled image labeler runtime client or the MATLAB environment using the image labeler app. In this example, we'll continue in the MATLAB environment as a labeler task owner opens the project file shared by the project owner and proceeds to label images. From the drop-down menu, the label task owner selects their profile in the dialog box, and their image labeler visualization environment comes up in the state where they had previously left it. The label task owner proceeds to add labels, in this case open circuit, to the image by selecting an ROI label definition, creating bounding boxes around the regions of interest using a cursor, and marking the image as labeled when done using the mark image as labeled icon. Keep in mind that Image Labeler also supports automation capabilities to speed up labeling tasks, and the project owners can provide custom automation algorithms, although this is not shown here. The labels will be listed as locked when the image has been marked as labeled. The label task owner then proceeds to label the second image by clicking on it under the Image Browser tab and repeating the prior pause process. Proceeding to the third image now, the label task owner mislabels the image in this instance, whereby the open circuit defects have been mislabeled as similar looking mouse bytes. Once finished with a set of labeled images, the label task owner sends this set for review by a review task owner. The label task owner does not need to complete their entire set of assigned images before sending a subset of completed images to a review task owner. Once a label task owner has sent out images for review, the project owner observes this event and creates a review task for a review task owner to evaluate the labeled ROIs for accuracy. In this instance, rather than accessing the image labeler app through the app gallery, it is possible to invoke image labeler from the command line, open the project, and choose a role. After selecting their profile, the project owner's image labeler environment opens in the state in which they had previously left it. The project owner now adds a review task to a review task owner, another team member named Neil, by using the add review task icon at top and adding images to its list through the add images to list button at the bottom of the app. Image filters located under the image browser pane at the right of the app help narrow down the list of visible images to choose from and make task assignment easier to visualize. Once the review task has been defined, the project owner publishes the task using the Publish Tasks icon. After the review task has been published, a review task owner can review the associated labels, accepting or rejecting them, and providing feedback. To begin the review process, a review task owner invokes the Image Labeler app through one of the methods previously described and opens the project as a task owner. The review task owner then selects their profile and as their progress on their set of assigned uh, review tasks becomes visible. Using their review labels, sublabels, and attributes pane at the right, the review task owner either accepts or rejects each object label for each image. The first image and its three labels are shown here. All labels have been accepted using the accept buttons under the review status column, and the image itself is accepted using the accept image button. Note that the reviewer can also add, modify, or delete labels in addition to accepting or rejecting them, although these actions are not shown here. The review task owner now moves on to the second image and its three object labels as shown here. All labels are accepted and the image itself is accepted. The review task owner now proceeds to the third mislabeled image and its three misidentified object labels as shown here. All labels are rejected using the reject buttons under the review status column of the review labels, sublabels, and attributes column, and the image itself is rejected using the reject image button. When finished, the review task owner sends the review results using the send review results icon and the send reviewed images selection from its drop down menu. After the review task owner has completed their review and sent the results, the label task owner corrects any labeling errors identified by the review task owner and resends them for review. To begin correcting labels, the label task owner launches Image Labeler, chooses the task owner icon, and selects their profile. Their labeling environment launches, and the rejected labels and images identified in the first review task 
can now be corrected by the label task owner and resent for review. The label task owner proceeds to correct the third image, in which open circuits were mistaken for mouse bytes. The label task owner hovers over each ROI rectangle, right clicks, then goes through the drop down menus to reassign the ROI as an open circuit instead of a mouse byte. When finished with corrections, the label task owner marks the image as labeled using the mark image as labeled icon to lock in the labels. The send labeled images icon is then enabled and can be invoked. After clicking on the send labeled images icon, the send labeled images for review dialog box appears and the corrected labels will be sent for review by clicking OK. To review the corrected labels, the review task owner launches image labeler app, chooses task owner, and selects their profile. Their labeling environment then launches. They proceed to reevaluate the labeling task now that the mistakes have been corrected and resent to them. Since the correct labels have now been assigned, the review task owner now accepts all three object labels using the accept buttons and accepts the image itself using the accept image button. The review task owner then resends the review results. The process of correction and resending of labeling tasks by label task owners repeats until all images are accepted by review task owners. In this case, only one instance of label correction was necessary. The project owner, who has been continuously monitoring the process, makes sure everything is completed appropriately before exporting the labels. The project owner launches the image labeler app and opens the project, chooses project owner, and their labeling environment launches. The project owner checks on the progress and sees that one of three labelers, Aria, has completed three out of 40 labels. They also see that the review task owner, Neil, has completed three out of three image reviews for Aria. Therefore, three images are currently ready to export. The project owner now exports the three images that have been successfully labeled and reviewed. The image filter drop-down menu can be set to images ready to export to narrow the set of images visible to the project owner to only those images which are ready to export. When exporting using the export icon, only the accepted images can be chosen, and they can be chosen to be exported to either a file or a workspace. A workspace is chosen here. It is also possible to export labels to the cloud, though this is not shown here. The act of exporting labels to a workspace results in a gtruth object corresponding to the label data. As shown, only three of 120 entries, which was the number of images imported, are non-zero, since we only labeled three images during this presentation. To enable label portability for training AI models, MATLAB provides a ground truth to open label format conversion function that turns a ground truth object into a .json file. As you've seen today, MATLAB team-based labeling helps teams simply and methodically manage technical data labeling as they scale. The Image Labeler app enables a step-by-step -step interplay of labelers, reviewers, and project owners, allowing them to complete complex image labeling tasks at scale. Thank you very much for attending today's webinar, and I look forward to answering any questions you may have.